always happens. It's like, <laughs> I mean, you know, and then there's tomorrow and all that, but still, for this period, it's, um, so, so yeah, this is the end, and we're sorry. We're sorry to see you all go, because this is, we love this. <laughs> uh, it's just really nice to spend the time and, and to get to meet all kinds of folks we hadn't met before and see some ones that we have seen before and we've met before, and, and um, Thank you, Chuck. And thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Now we get to go have what we call Banjarama, which is like where we go check out all of Chuck's banjo. <laughs> which was like really our true reason for coming. <laughs> but that's going to be fun. So, um, but anyhow, how we thank you for being with us tonight and we hope we'll see you down the road and we love to hear from people I've got an iPad now which means I can like say hello to people from just about anywhere which is cool um, so and we're on Facebook if you do that kind of thing we put all kinds of zany things on there we have a pet dinosaur named Cyrus and he travels with us you can see his exploits and etc so um, and He's a rescue dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Hey, thank you, Steve. He's Help a, stop puppy mills. Yeah. Yeah. And dino mills are bad. And so, yeah, he was at a Walgreens on a, a discount table for five dollars all alone. I mean, he was so sad looking, and and there he was, all orange and cute. And, I mean, he he takes very few candy corns to keep him alive, and really good so a low maintenance friend but anyway um yeah so uh i think we're coming back to uh, florida next uh winter so maybe we'll see all of y'all again yep. that would be real fun and maybe we'll try to sing some sacred harp and go to some songwriting sessions and do all kinds of things if we can figure out when they all happen um all right we're going to finish up with this song here this is I remember how I said when people gave me a piece of fabric, I would trade them a three-song CD? Well, the CD was called Pretty Fair Miss, and this is the song, Pretty Fair Miss. And this is an oldie, old song. I learned it in a cool way. I went to a, uh, an old-time music camp in Mars Hill, uh, Mars Hill College in North Carolina, and I studied with a gal named Sheila K. Adams, who is a fantastic a singer of ballads and banjo player and she taught me this song now the way that she taught it was she sings it and you listen and she sings and you listen and she sings and she won't let you write anything down and she won't write anything down for you you just have to sit with her and learn that song and that's what I did for about five days and we learned about three songs because Sheila Kay talks as much as I do so <laughs> or maybe more and there was a lot of interim times see but anyhow this is one we learned and we were really excited because in 2007 we took a tour of fiddlers conventions all around the south and tried to compete in guitar and flat foot dance and folk song and all this nonsense. It was really fun. Sometimes we win ten dollars, we could go like get a whole bucket of tater tots, which was great. <laughs> that was like all we could eat as vegans at fairs. It was like French fries or tater tots, and it's like tater tots are cuter than French fries. So naturally, we chose those. You know, for ten dollars you could get a three piece suit. I, oh, you could get a three piece suit. And if they'd had one available, I would have bought one for Billy because he deserves a three piece. But anyway. We got the tater tots because that was all they had. Well, we were on our way to our very last Fiddler's Convention in East Tennessee at Laurel Bloomery, and lo and behold, they were going to have a duet singing contest. Well, this was our moment to shine, of course, right? Except in the rules it said, no original music. And we were like, ah, songwriters, the death. You know, so we thought, well, we've got to come up with a traditional duet now. And I thought of this song that Sheila Kay taught me. Because it always bugged me a little bit because it's a conversation between two people, a soldier and his sweetheart, and it's always sung by one person. So I thought, well, that's weird, you know. So here was our opportunity to show this song as a duet. The only thing is that we were just about a couple hours from the uh, festival and Billy didn't know it. <laughs> so Maybe 40 minutes. No, <laughs> maybe a couple hours. So... So I taught it to him. We, we sang it about six times. No. Well, I, sang, I, I taught him the same way that I learned from Sheila Kay. And we did real good. We got se second place. 
and the judge's wife got first place. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was weird. I mean, she was singing with another man. And I thought, well, that's weird here in East Tennessee. <laughs> I don't think we would have given that ribbon in Southwest Virginia. I don't know. <laughs> that's been, what the ribbon's for. I, 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 it would have been like fighting, you know. But anyway. But so we, we did get some, we did get $10. And we did get a massive tub of tater tots, which was great. We were fed for like another day. And food, you know, it comes around, doesn't it, food? So, so this is what we did. Pretty fair miss. And we wrote the last verse because we just weren't satisfied. As songwriters, we had to sort of put something in. And, of course, we didn't tell them that because we would have been disqualified. And please don't go back and tell them because <laughs> it really ruined our image, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, and the tater tots are gone, you know. <laughs> Uh, pretty fair miss. I saw a pretty fair miss all in her garden. A handsome young soldier came riding by. Said, could I impose on a fair young maiden and ask her <laughs> for to be my bride? Well, handsome young soldier, there standing in the gateway, a man of honor you may be. How could you impose on a fair young maiden who never intends your bride to be? For I may love you in the army, and he's been gone for seven years long. And if he stay gone seven years longer, no man on earth would marry me. Pray haps your love, yours drowned in the ocean. Pray haps he's on some battlefield slain. Pray haps he's taking another girl to marry. His face you'll never see again. Well, if he's drowned, I hope he's peaceful. Or if he's on some battlefield slain, and if he's taking another girl to marry, I love the girl that married him. His fingers be in long and slender, into his pocket they did go. Here's the ring that you once gave me before I left here for the war. She threw her little right arms around him, and straight before him she did fall. Said, you're the boy who used to court me before you left here for the war. I've been on the deep sea sail, and I've been gone for seven years. Long. And if I stay gone seven years longer, no woman on earth would marry me. This story's true, as the hearts that tell it, of a love so brave and strong, of a love that crossed the ocean and returned after seven years long. In return, after seven years long, in return, after seven years long.